Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are in the beautiful Port St. Joe, Florida area. We, we were up here a few months ago and had a camp down at the uh, Indian Pass. I think we had a video on a channel for that. Be sure to check that out. This time we're in a different spot. We're in the Presnell's RV and Marina camp. And we had this booked and wanted to uh, come and stay here again because we enjoyed it so much. And uh, this time we brought Abby's parents with us as well. And they are camped right there uh, next to us. That's their rig there. And by the way, they, they all just went into town. They wanted to go get some breakfast. I wanted to stay here at the camp and enjoy uh, just the, the campsite for a little while. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm actually gonna set up and um, make some cinnamon rolls here in a minute as a recipe that I wanted to try. But uh, anyway, I wanted to mention that we actually were supposed to be booked on the other side of the road. This is their new section. I'm gonna pan you around so you can kind of see. So this is their new section here that they just recently opened. It is a very nice area. It's very well laid out, nice roomy sites, real pretty. You can see we're backed up to some pine trees there. And then we got the pine trees on the other side there as well. But unfortunately, whenever they booked us, I don't know why this happened. Somebody made a mistake and they actually booked us for the RV pool in sites. So the utility hookups were on the wrong side because they were made for like a, like a Class C or something that pulls straight in and hook up. And so that wouldn't work for our setups. So the only other thing available was to set us, put us over here on the new side. Fortunately, they had some sites open that we could do that because, you know, it's really hard to book anything last second anyway. Usually everybody stays booked up, but uh, this worked out and they got us over here. So this is our site. This is our campsite for the week here. So it is nice. You can see right through there, you might be able to see that roof. That is their bathhouse that's still under construction and they've actually, they're building a pool over there as well. Uh, but that's just not ready yet, but at least they do have the sites here. But I was so excited about camping here on the other side because it's on the, it's, it's on the water. The whole camp campground is right there on the water. And we were excited about having sort of the, you know, the view of the bay. They have a pool. We were going to be right next to the pool, be able to go enjoy that. So now, you know, we could walk over there, but you got to cross Highway 98. Um, so we might go over there later on, you know, during the week and uh, go to the pool. And I want to check out the other side, maybe mark on the map some like primo spots and be able to reserve one later in the year or maybe next year that we can be right on the water because I want to be able to set up, do my barbecue, do my cooking with the water view right behind the cookers. That's something that I absolutely love doing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've been trying to organize my little baking kit here. I want to do some cinnamon rolls. Here's my camp setup right there. We've got the uh, you know, the lodge table, the pit barrel, the camp chef stove, everything's ready to go. So what I want to do is make some cinnamon rolls, basically a practice run, but it's something that we can all eat on. And then I've got several cooks planned for this week. And I think that's going to be kind of the basis of this video that I want to make. We have some restaurants that we're planning on going to in town, Uptown Raw Bar, Indian Pass Raw Bar, and maybe something else, uh, Cat 5 Raw Bar do those maybe for lunch but i want to cook some dinners out here at the camp so i'm going to have some seafood cooks i want to do some beef short ribs and we'll probably have a pork night and another seafood night as well i want to do like some grilled shrimp so i'm going to try to uh, see if we can just kind of pack all that into this video right here so let's get started then here's a look at the cinnamon rolls that i am trying now this is not a recipe that i found online or in a book or anything but it's inspired by cinnamon roll recipes that I have seen. So I'm just kind of winging it and I'm gonna give this a shot. So what I did, I wanted to try the uh, Crescent uh, dough sheet. So I got one of those and laid it out. All I did was I made a mixture of white sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, and uh, crushed pecans. Brushed that on the dough sheet. Now I'm cutting it into strips, rolling it up into a pinwheel and setting it in the camp oven. So I'll just use up this one sheet and uh, set it in here and we'll, we'll start cooking them. Hopefully they'll be delicious. All right, there's our cinnamon rolls right there. 
they look good hopefully they're gonna be delicious let's get them cooked and find out we got the cinnamon rolls in the 8 inch camp oven we just got them on to cook they shouldn't take long maybe 15 20 minutes maybe hopefully those are gonna turn out good I love my little outdoor cooking setup here with our stove for our frying I always use this to light my charcoal too whenever the stove is set up pit barrel for some grilling and smoking the little Weber for like burgers and light duty grilling it is nice it's going to be a nice day we're expecting really nice weather here all day I'm, I'm sorry all week uh, mid 80s for the highs 60s at night and no rain in sight until maybe uh, Saturday we might get a little rain come through it's going to be a good day camping here in Port St. Joe good week of camping all right so we've been running about 20 minutes since I dumped the charcoal on our cinnamon rolls let's go ahead and give them a peek and uh, see what they look like. I looked at them about 10 minutes and it looked like they were starting to cook in well. Ah, let me get it more even, there we go. Oh yeah, they're looking good. Probably won't be much longer and they'll be ready to go. Let me take them about another five minutes and I'll check them, but I'm gonna show you what they look like once I'm done cooking them there. There's our cinnamon rolls. What I did is I melted a cream cheese frosting a little bit in the microwave and just drizzled a little bit on there to serve as a topping. A little trick that my sister and mom taught me. So those are looking really good. I can't wait to try one and see how they turned out. Let's give one of these guys a try. I'm going to scoop out the middle. That's always my favorite one. Certainly looks good. Let's, uh, let's bite into it and see. There it is. That's definitely a winner right there. Mmm. All that butter is like soaked into the dough. So it's a very moist cinnamon roll. Got a good ratio of uh, sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon. I love the pecans in there. That is, that is definitely delicious right there. You'll have to give that a try. That's awesome. What a nice six pack of Appalachia IPA. Yeah. Let's do it. Good for the uh, fish cook tonight. <laughs> All right, so we're inside the uh, Kodiak. Abby's over here. She's getting some of her work done. She's been busy today. I am prepping uh, dinner tonight. I'm going to be the chef tonight cooking everything, and I'm going to be making my baked fish. We're going to be doing uh, red snapper, and we're going to be using a camp oven this time instead of cooking it in the grill. This was a Recipe that I showed in a previous video of patio chat. We cooked it in the pit barrel, but this time we're going to use a camp oven. So I'm just showing you my prep in here. I just thought it'd be easier just to do everything kind of inside. So this is our red snapper. I bought this last week from uh, Joe Patty Seafood there in Pensacola. Wrapped it up, froze it. So I actually got it out because it's still a little firm. So I'm trying to get it to thaw out. So we're going to leave that out and let that, let that finish thawing. And then we've got our diced tomatoes that we're going to put in there one onion chopped up. I did not bring my seafood seasoning that I used last time. So I think this time we're gonna go ahead and use the simple citrus seasoning on there. Abby really likes this. And this is also what I use on the vegetables there as well. She, and she likes my that. One. It's her favorite one. It's one of my favorites one too. So check this out. It's the Heath Riles brand, simple citrus. It's really good stuff. Kind of reminds me of lemon pepper a little bit. But anyway, so this is our mixed veggies. Broccoli, cauliflower, onion, and mushrooms. We're going to be putting these in the 10 inch uh, camp oven. This is the deep. And we'll do some roasted vegetables there. We're going to do our baked fish. We've also got some French bread that we're going to cut and toast. I just made up some garlic butter right here to uh, spread on the bread. And I think 
that's it. Oh, the rice. So I'm just going to make a pot of rice. I just thought I'd show you this. This is our little rice cooker that we keep on board. This is what we use at the house too. Uh, really simple to make rice. So we'll make the white rice and serve the fish over that and have veggies by request for Abby. All right, we got our red snapper fillets. Uh, I just rub them a little bit of olive oil and then season them. Again, we're using the simple citrus there. 12 inch camp oven, we've got it oiled there with some olive oil. We'll lay the fish in there. I'll put the uh, onions on there, the tomatoes, and add some soy sauce. And this will be ready to start baking. All right, so we are ready to start our cooking. We've got a basket full of charcoal getting hot right there. So here's our baked fish using a 12 inch lodge. This is the shallow. That is gonna be good. I used more soy sauce this time than I did last time because we want to have plenty of broth in there for our fish, rice, and dipping of the French bread. So we used five ounces of soy sauce. It was one small bottle of the Kiko Man low sodium soy sauce. We got the 10 inch deep. This is slap full of our mixed veggies. So what I decided to do, we're going to go ahead and get it. We got all of our charcoal getting hot. I'm going to do a stack cook this time. So what we're going to do is once we get the 12 inch ready, get the coals on top, we're going to set the 10 inch right there on top of that, put our other coals on top and we'll do a stack cook. Got a basket full of hot charcoal right here. We're going to go ahead and get started on our cook. Just dump a few out. We're going to do eight at the bottom. All right, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Get that one out of here. All right, our fish is gonna go down here. Mm -hmm. Yep, I know Abby's excited about this. She's excited for her parents to try this too, because they love this kind of, that kind of recipe there. So, go ahead and Take these up there. I'm gonna make a solid ring around the lid here with some more charcoal. And hopefully we will have enough. I'm just putting that up there. That helps kind of like start the little, a little bit of preheat, but only for a minute or so. One solid ring here, just like that. All right, put these in there. I'm gonna hit start on the fish. We got another two more jets coming by. can't see them but we've got uh, Tyndall Air Force Base is right up the road from us so we've been seeing a lot of jets come by all right here's our 10 inch we're gonna stack it right here on top of the 12 and they are pretty hot I wish I was a cool pilot but I got to settle for machine tools and barbecue pits all right we'll do the same thing I, th I think I got enough here yeah, so we're just gonna lay those out just like that. Look at that, see? I thought I counted it right. Let me hit a start uh, timer start on the veggies there. And there we go, we got our double stack. Starting our cook. <laughs> I think, so I think this one is for the bench right here. Abby doesn't have a I, mic. This is very unprofessional. <laughs> Hold on. Cut. Here, here, here. No, just keep it rolling. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let Abby do the commentary there. Okay, so uh, this was recommended by one of our viewers. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I got this at Camping World. I think it's a fitted picnic table cover. It is, and it comes with the top and then the bench seat covers. Is there another one? Yeah, it's over there already. Oh, did it fall down? only got the, the two um, well oh, it's a, is, okay <laughs> we almost found it 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So anyway, thank you very much for suggesting this. This is very cool. I got it at Camping World. I think it was $35, which is exorbitant for a tablecloth. However, it's very cool and you can wipe it down and it has the little drawstring. Yeah. To make it tight. So where's the So they won't fling off. Here's the drawstring for this one here. Yeah, that's just really cool. All right, and then is it over, yep, it's over here on this side. Oh, that's much better. Oh, look at that. So I'm gonna give this an A plus. I think it's very cool. There we go. All right, I'm gonna give it an A minus because I think it should be cuter. The pattern maybe, <laughs> but it's still wrong, pretty cool. Wrong color. <laughs> Is it the wrong cloud? I mean, you know, maybe brighter. We've been running about 40, 42 minutes there on our cook. I got some charcoal getting hot because I got to refire this. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our vegetables. Those are looking good. They're cooking in. Look at that. I'm steaming up the, uh, the camera there. All right. So what we'll do, take this guy and... Um, Sorry, didn't have the camera pointed the right direction there. Move this over, and then that will give us, be able to pick you, peek at our fish here. All right, it's cooking in, see all that steam? But we need some fresh charcoal. So once these charcoal are hot, which they're just about there, I'm gonna set it over here on this side. That's why I kept this to the left, so we can refire it, and it'll instantly get up to cooking temp because everything is already hot. Once you add the hot charcoals, you see how these are burned down? It just, it's not putting out enough heat to uh, cook it where we need it. Once you put the fresh charcoal, it'll blaze up, it'll start cooking, and we'll finish it out in no time. What you doing? You ready for dinner? <laughs> you are so cute. All right, come in here and see this. Go. Let's look at our baked fish. You got it. Oh man, it smells so God, good. It is incredible. <laughs> That's all we get to see? Yep. Yep. That's it. We got some veggies right here. All right, let me see the veggies. Yes. Oh yeah, they're doing good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got our five star RV camp meal cooked, right? Well, they don't know yet. They haven't no, tried they it haven't yet. No, they haven't seen anything. They <laughs> haven't gotten to smell it yet. We got our toast, rice. All right, here's our red snapper. Look at that. All right, and we got our veggies here. Look at that. And we are ready to serve. <laughs> I know they are ready. I'm hungry. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so there's the results of our uh, baked fish over rice, veggie, veggies, some toast. And so far, do I have any reviews? Oh, it's excellent. It's so good. Excellent, wonderful. It sucks. No, it's it great. It sucks. <laughs> I tried to tell them it's going to be a five-star camp cook, so I don't it know is. how that um, you know, relates to an actual five-star. I give it five stars. Definitely. <laughs> All it's right. the bread that Abby did that pulls it into the five star. That range. was that yeah. was that was the, yeah. that yeah. pulled it all yeah. together right there. I really brought the the, uh, on that. the the toast right there. <laughs> all right, we're gonna enjoy our dinner, but uh, sounds like we got a successful red snapper baked fish tonight at the camp.